What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Dominaria draft here on uh, magicthegathering.internet slash Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm your host, the Shadow Realm, and I'm here with Exodia. And my grandfather gave me those cards. I'm going to take this Adelie's the Cinder win. We're still we're we're winding down on a on a on a on a, a healthcare slash political debate in the chat. So apologies in advance if that's coming through for you guys because I'm trying to. We should move it. We should move it on down so that it's no longer in the chat. So people don't so people don't have to deal with it anymore because it's not a pleasant it's not a pleasant conversation. But um, yeah, let's let's change the subject and I'll take this blink of an eye. Let's talk about, here's a question. Let's talk about our favorite animals right now. What's your favorite animal? I'll start. Uh, I believe my favorite animal is probably... I think my favorite land animal is an elephant. My favorite aquatic animal would be a dolphin. I appreciate their intelligence. Calzones is a good one. I'm a big fan of the calzone. That is a good animal. Pistol shrimp. Are those the ones that have like the, the they can literally like crack bones with their There's the ones that what are the shrimp that are like super scary? Wow, you guys went crazy on these. I can't even read all these uh I like totals. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, all three of these are good. Ooh, I'm excited about this though. What if that Angel and Harbor comes back? It'll never come back. My but my gr mantis shrimp, that's the one that's super scary. That card is terrifying. I actually my when I first when I first went to college my my initial major was biology because I wanted to work with big cats like panthers, tigers, lions, etc. Uh, cuz they're some of my favorite animals actually. I think Tatio is just so much stronger than both of these unfortunately uh, that she's a third color, but you know, whatever. <laughs> like I even care. That's how we do. That, I'll take this Goblin Barrage, because it's the only good thing in this pack. The only other cards in our colors, which are three right now, is like Runamuck, Primary Worm, I'm just going to take the Barrage. Did I say that card is terrifying? Did I say Mantis Shrimp? The card is terrifying, because that's hilarious, and what's wrong with me? Good lord. That's funny. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Trickster for obvious synergies. I like this Snapper. Wow. Kermode Bear? That sounds amazing. I've never heard of this. I've never even heard of this bear. And I'm I'm usually uh I'm pretty well I'm pretty well versed in the animals. Look at that. That's like a white black bear. Oh, it's a spirit bear. Oh, that dude's gorgeous. How rare are spirit bears? Oh, I like it. I like it. I'm gonna take the trickster. We can probably get another of those other gentlemen. It's just Glider here. Glider's good with Goblin Barrage. I like having Radiant Lightning. I also like Relic Runner, but... What should I eat tonight, Frank? Nothing's out of the question. How about some good New York-style pizza? With a, with a little thin little crust on there. I think you should definitely get a yard and a dog. I, I support both of those. I'm going to take the glider because we don't know if we're red yet. I'm going to take this sap herd because that is the best card in this pack. And by a sizable margin as well. And if we're green, it's more likely we can splash the red cards. And... This is a main deck card. This is a sideboard card. I'm going to take the main deck card. I'm also going to take this arcane flight because maybe we get a turtle back. Ain't no turtle backer. Oh. I see. I 
I don't like. We're probably not gonna be red, so I didn't take the chronicler. Why are you guys saying chronicler? I don't understand. Unwind is fine. Like I'm trying to cut the red so I can actually play these other colors, which are, in my opinion, better. All right, now we get a lava runner. So, all right, now we're back on the red train. Unbelievable. Well, this. This is all kinds of messy. Kermode? It hurts my British Columbia ears to hear a bear called what sounds like Kermode bear. <laughs> so, so Kermode is what you're, what you're saying here? Can I just call him the Spirit Bear? That sounds like a better name. That's a dude. That's a dude we don't care if we're, uh... Who cares that we didn't open... Open any money ever? Oh, hey, man, we got that one card that one time. You guys remember that card? Alright, you guys are coming back in. You ready? Alright, this is just our deck right now. Let's sort these by, uh, color pie. There we go. And alphabetical. Did it. Oh, we're definitely in the right colors now, boy. Oh, a Dominary box and a Battle Bond box for 160? That seems good, dude. Why wouldn't you do that? Where did you where did you get that deal? I might do that. Oh, Bayloth. Boy. And there was a dread shade in there, so someone took someone's like, oh, not black or green. So the person next to us is definitely not green, that's for sure. I want to take this gorger. Yeah, message me, brah. I mean, I'll definitely run the Barrage or the Adelies if we get a grow, because splashing one, uh, one green is or one red is not that difficult. Cinco Ponte. I don't like jugs here. I don't think we're gonna have uh, any difficulty finding big, big beefy gentlemen. I do like syncopate though. It could be gift too. We could be heavier green. I don't know. I don't know if we're ever gonna play this Merfolk trickster with st the, the old Merfolk trickster steely. I got the Hinterland Harbor one been so good in our deck. Um. I I Pepperidge Farm remembers. Um. Yeah, I like Syncopate a little bit better here. Oh, another Blink of an Eye. Oh, Sapling Migration's probably where we want to be. That seems good. I like Snapper. Plus, that's our first Snapper, so... Good deal. Man. Lava Runners? Now I'll take a Candle. Probably Corrosive Ooze, just so we have more two drops. I think Spider is probably... Like, Halar is good. Um, we have one, two, three. We have a lot of kick spells, actually. Halar could be the pick here. But I like Spider a lot. We can probably get another Spider, but Halar is pretty good. Let's 
two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm going to take the Halar. And maybe we get another... All right, sure. You're a seven drop, realistically. You're an eight drop, realistically. You're a six drop. You're a four drop. I want to know. Can you show me? This mana curve is gas. Oh, the Pierce the Sky came back. That's pretty good. Excuse me while I pierce the sky. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven kick spells. I'm looking for a, a grow. Uh, Envoy is actually pretty. This is also a kick guy. Huh. One time, Karn, it's okay. The pack was already open before I said that. Grow from the Ashes or Academy Journey Mage? Ooh. 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 What are these noises he's making? It's very strange. Yeah, I think the grow is more relevant to our strategy. <laughs> Simek, what's going on, buddy? Thank you for the cheer. <gasps> Sulfur Falls. Oh, that's actually perfect. I'd, I'd prefer Sulfur Falls over a second Adelie's for sure. Sulfur Falls is amazing for us. Oh, God. What just happened? Oh, cool. Magic Online just crashed. Fantastic. Nope, it's actually my computer, somehow. Having a good time. Actually, it's probably Magic Online. Yeah. This deck seemed real sweet, too. It's funny, because I'm still alive. All right, end it. Two days later. So welcome back. Uh, here's the story. Uh, the other day, some of you may have been here, some of you may not have been here. We drafted a pretty sweet green deck, and it ended up being more teamer, right? Because we splashed like Adelies and T -T Tatiova and Halar, and you know, it was just. In our third pack, we had a first pick, Sulphur Falls. Everyone who's watching the YouTube video is probably going to know. They're, it, it, it's just going to be one solid connection, so you're never going to see the difference. But um, Magic Online crashed. We couldn't get it restarted. And then this was the card we tried to take in pack, pack three, pick one. And that's when it crashed. I dragged it off the side of the screen like this. And I think the whole thing just... It was all gone. So, submitted a refund request. I got the refund request. Well, I didn't get the request. I got the refund, I guess we'll say. And uh, they didn't cancel my league, so it's still here. And come to look at this deck, and it's still... It's actually pretty okay. Like, this would be our 23 cards. We had a Candle, a Short Sword, Arcane Flight, Blink, Trickster. Uh, we only have two two-drops, one of which is difficult to cast. Then we have a, a Steel Leaf Champion. But this isn't really a two-drop, right? This is more like a four-drop that you... Whatever. Anyway, the point is, the deck doesn't look that bad. 
And we have Envoy to help us cast things. We have Grow from the Ashes. Um, and, uh, you know, we even have Pierce the Sky and Unwind in the sideboard. So not terrible. I mean, we still have Territorial Allosaur. We still have Halar, Adelies, Tatsiova, Coldwater Snapper, and Arcane Flight. Steel Leaf Champion. Like, I mean, this deck could have definitely turned out worse. And I'm pretty sure we've actually consciously drafted worse decks than this. Um, so it seems like, out, despite the fact that we did not get a pack three... You know, not officially anyway. Um, deck still is reasonable. So I say let's give it a shot. And see how we do. 10-3-3, which is actually 10-4-4. Four, four. Might be 8-5-5. Five, five. I mean, because like, you, one thing you want to remember in a situation like this is even if you don't have Steel Leaf Champion on turn 3... It's still good on turn four. It's still good on turn five. It's still on point for those. Even if it's a a, a five four with with an, a with an, a very strong ability on turn five, that's still a thing. So we have blue, 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 blue. We can actually cut one red, and we'll go one more, one more green. I mean, Adelie's is the only one I'm really worried about because it's I, and Mur Mur Murfolk Trickster, I guess. Double blue seems hard. Adelie's having both of our splash colors is difficult, but whatever. I mean, the the deck actually... Well, I mean, we, we have to consider the fact that we actually didn't get a pack three for this deck. So, let's lower that a lot. And when you look at it like that, where this is a deck with two packs and a first pick, it's not terrible. And we did it. We already did it. I'm going to lead off of the forest, though. Do we have anything that triggers a blood tallow candle? I don't think we have it. Oh, see, now that's why we let off with the uh, with the forest here. Because if we get a Steel Leaf Champion... Well, now I'm just going to assume Adelie's is the play. Did you, <laughs> Did you consider unclaimed territory in that Sliver's deck? That's a solid meme. I'm a fan. Get a blink next turn, too? Everything's coming up Millhouse. Real mature, buddy. It's your boy. Peace out. Oh, corrosive ooze is good. If only we had one more green source. Well, they're really going all in on this guy. This is sad because we can't go, we can't use this for five mana and we can't use these two for six mana. We can literally just do one thing this turn. I think it's still champion. We can probably take four and next turn we can play both of these if we have to. Like if they play something else, we can kill that with barrage or we can corrosive use this guy. We'll see. No blocks. I have multiple removal spells for this thing. And a corrosive use for your stupid sword. They have five cards in hand? That's a lot. I'm not sure I understand what's going on here, but... That lands deck was a monstrosity. I mean, unfortunately, like, we were just playing it for funsies anyway, so it wasn't like a... You know, super competitive... Should we just blood tallow candle this guy? It's probably a better use of mana, right? I can't imagine what they have here. They can't run amok. Um, they need like two blessing of bells and locks to actually to actually get us. 
Yeah, it seems good. Barrage and Ooze might have been better. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. All right. America's hard on for bacon is so awkward. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Being that we're at... I think we're just going to play bodies here because if we get to... If they, if they attack with this guy and then they have a blocker... We can just kill our blocker and, and attack for the victory. And then we're up a game with our... Okay. We did it, boys. Well, that's a good card. So if we kill you, you block here, you take seven. But you actually have to block there. So one, two, three, four... You have to block here, so we get to eat both your guys. I see. Two fungal infections. I don't care about this, actually. This is fine. Like, you go to five. I have a syncopate. What? Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's the way we're going to do it. Yeah, I'd rather kill the Gitu Chronicler anyway. What up, Turner? Yeah. Did we just win the game? That's pretty impressive. Our deck is sweet. <laughs> to the surprise of many, many people. Um, It might just be Unwind. Unwind could come in here. That's pretty cool. What up, Starbuck? I saw your I saw your Twitter comments. They they gave me a chuckle. I laughed. Hmm. I wish this untapped, but I understand why it does not. Unwind is the only thing I think I care about, but I don't even know if I care about it, so. Oh, tell tell Swole Mike I said what's up. I'll keep this hand. Can raisins eat? What does this say? Uh, I just think it's all right, but people act like I just rub my nose. Is can you can 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 raisins be moldy? I was embarrassed once I realized. You were that. Also, um, I appreciate you not deleting the first tweet. That was good. I like that you stu you stuck to your guns there, and you're like, nope, I'm gonna own this. I appreciated that. Not even mold would eat raisins? Wow, that's, that's something else, man. You guys are cold. This champion is really getting I would eat I I I'm I'm a mold, Greg. Can I eat raisins? Yeah, I'll take it. This guy's really obnoxious. No blocks, as you can imagine. Well, we got the float. Can we just race and hope they don't hit a... Uh... <laughs> Let's do this. Let's see what happens. I mean, sword would have also been good, but... God, what if they have? This is risky, but I, I think we have to do something like this because we really don't have much of a plan otherwise. Don't have run amok. Oh, they have run amok. 
Oh, all right, that's fine. I don't love it. I don't hate it. We actually should have short sorted instead of arcane flight, but I was like, I was looking for the long game, and I'm like, we can just get there. We'll just put this on this dude, and we'll never die. Goonies never say die. <sighs> so close yet so far. So I'm just gonna move short sword and attack for four, and I don't like that. But we can wait. We can we can wait a turn and short sword our own guy. And... Okay, or they just kill our guy and attack for five. That's good too. That's reasonable. Starbuck, glad you glad you stopped in and said hey. Appreciated. Alright, we'll do this jobby and put this guy on here. Alright. Well, that was a reasonable reasonable game. They had no flyers still, so. We could bring an unwind, but I'm more concerned with just hitting her land drops. This hand seems fine. Again, like I'm not sure we're gonna win because this was a deck where we got no this is a deck without a pack three. We basically got no pack three here. So, hard to feel terrible about losing. But I just think it's a fun experiment. And uh, the deck did look sweet in the... Wow, every game? Literally every game you're going to do this nonsense? Yeah, their, old, their, their draw definitely felt better than ours there. Yep, this ooze is not going in. Wow, the double short sword. Oh god, I was really hoping they attacked there. My fingers were so crossed. <laughs> uh. yeah, might as well drop this. Dr. Funkburger, MD, happy chicken Sunday, buddy. So it's just going to be this. You're just going to play Champion of the Flame every game on turn two with multiple short swords, and then we just have to deal with that. Seems good. Well, as a person who's playing a deck with uh, red, blue, and uh, green, the literal colors that cannot deal with, with sizable power and toughness, I guess we're just dead. Yeah, Vintage Cube next week seems like it's going to be pretty sweet. I am excited about it. Land. All right, well, we're basically dead. Land would have been great because it either lets us, it lets us gain, draw a card, gain a life, and it lets us keep Blood Tallow Candle up to actually trade with this guy, but um, not having a land here is pretty bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't even feel like we can attack here. Feels bad, man. After game one, I felt real good about this deck, and then they just got Champion of, of the Flame every single game, so. Sure. Because why not? Yeah, Eviscerate every game, Champion of the Flame every game. Sure. Seems good. Hard to beat, I guess. Have to go adult buying beer and grilling out. I'll see you in the YouTube comments. Perfect fits. Have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. Ah, 
I don't like this hand. We'll ship it. I like this hand, though. Yeah, funny thing is, I hate that deck as well. Like, I hate playing the deck, but I always lose to it, too. It's the same thing. I'm like, God, I never get these pieces when, when, I, when I play the deck. Yet my opponent, like, they'll always have the removal spell for it, or they'll always have, you know, the... What have you. The perfect two things. And it's never an equipment, right? It's never, never an enchantment that I could just bounce it from. It's always like, well, I have, you know, two equipment that I could just, re just bounce it. I'll just re reattach them. Oh, that was a good draw. Who saw that coming? Everybody did. That's how scrying works. I think I once sent you all. Uh, Heartless said it's a good Darian King of Yeldor combo, and I still don't understand card theory games. I, I don't know if I remember that, but that sounds like it'd be pretty sweet. Does that not work? Let me see if that works. It's, you're going to tell me before I probably even find out, Darian. Darian said... It, no, because you're losing life with Heartless at Itsuga, right? Or maybe not. Actually, I don't know. Depends on the wording. I looked up Heatless instead, and that's not the same. No, it deals damage. You go to that player life floor on and down. That would, seems like it would work. What's the problem? That seems... I don't see I don't see how that could ever lose. Swole Mike saw it coming, and he requests a call it buck. He was like, no, man, I got tons of call it bucks. 100 camera flappy egg sucker bids. Josh, I didn't even see that. That's pretty hilarious. Thank you, buddy. Hunter's getting real excited over here. So I wouldn't be surprised if the illusion of the green screen did not get broken. It's protocol here. Oh, I bet I can't actually find that email because it was probably a TCG player email. Actually, I'd probably still have it. It would probably be in my... I had laboratory, uh, I had all the TCG player emails under a different folder. Huh. I think it's just this, right? Puts us to five, which lets us cast this guy. We also need more green, desperately. Whatever, I'll get a green. Now we're only one green away from Steel Leaf Champion. Travis Wizard. Oh, man. That guy. Did I respond? That's awesome. Man, I'm cooler than I thought. There, I got a ton of those emails, so it was very hard to respond to a lot of them. Oh, that's a good draw. I'm what you say, how you say a fan. How did he say that? I really don't want to play Tatiova into this ace deer glider, though. I'm just going to pass. I like playing Tatiova when I have the option to play a land immediately after. So that I always get some value off of it. Otherwise, you just win most land, but they go fourth land, and then they go eviscerate. And you're just like, eh, cool. Quacker2000, that is, that is the perfect response to that. I agree with you completely. That is the, that, those are my exact words. Completely, completely perfect. All right, let's bounce this guy and see what happens. <laughs> it brought us to this point. Man, time flies when you're responding to Magic the Gathering emails. I guess we'll attack first. We can also just sapling migration, but come on. How much value are we really going to lose on these lands if we can resolve this, this Tatiova? Plus, they can either, next turn, they either get to play their, their Ace Deer Glider, or they get to eviscerate this. They can't do both. So they do have a syncopate. Oh, wizard retort. All right, whatever. Never, never don't have it, as they say. Starbuck, you're very welcome. Wrote you a lovely haiku. I don't know why that. That's good. I like that. That's okay. That's a solid haiku.
ancient animals. That's not what it's called. Why would he say that? I don't know. So we're just going to play ooze. Keep up everything else because it all costs two. That's some, that's some versatility right there. We're going to pass. Maybe they attack. Maybe we double block. It's a good deal. They have three cards. We also just tricks through this guy and then attack for like a million. Mm, we'll let you attack. If you want to attack, I'll trade the two. If you don't, well, trickster. Do you prefer streaming or being independent to your TCG player? I was just curious. Like if Channel Fire was like Frank started writing an article a week. Whatever. Oh, I was writing like three articles a week for, for Channel Fireball. And then I chose to um, focus on my own YouTube channel and um, Twitch streaming. Like, Channel Firewall was my sole source of income at the time. Making your way in the world and everything you got. Wouldn't you like to get away? Could have got rid of the float and, and, and blocked with the sappy boy, but I don't know if we really care about the floater. I do like that, though. Wow, that's rude. That's probably the rudest thing you could have done. Tempting to animus there and kill the the glider as well, but everybody get in the red zone. Get in the zone. The red zone. One, two, three, four, five. I'm actually fine with this and keeping up uh, syncopate. Oh, only this guy, huh? I don't care about any of these things, but they are difficult to get through with only gift of growth in hand. I don't hate you. Guess we pass here? I don't know. Where are our legendary creatures be at? We got a Hellar and a Adelies and a Tatiova, which they countered, so. What up, Tin Man? Happy Chicken Sunday to you as well. What does that even mean? Well, that guy we're definitely killing with the blood tallow candle. Oh, journey mage, dark bargain, and a cold water snapper. Those are good hits. Sure. Now I'm just going to counter it when it comes back down because that was a that was fine. Sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? So make him a 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four, five. We only need to syncopate for three. Or well, for three mana. So one, two, three, four. If you make him a 6-6, six, six, we can fight and this guy and then if they don't hit a land actually we can so one two three four we can syncopate for one two now it's not gonna work 
Because if they hit a land, we actually have to syncopate for four. So I guess we'll just gift of growth for normal normal manas. Like we have to deal with the um, the acolyte that comes back down. So. And this guy's already going to have two damage on him, so I don't really want to fight and just trade Gift of Growth, Merfolk Trickster, and Ancient Animus for two creatures. That seems bad. Oh, that's definitely getting countered. Uh, we got three. Yeah, that's pretty good. Can I get a big creature? Just, okay. Well, land is good, too. I was actually like, well, land is also cool. It was either big creature or land. Sure. So we know one of their two cards. Divination and two lands. Yeah, I'll take three here. Kid Cabbage, love you too, buddy. It's going to be a Baleoth Gorger. It's going to be a forest. That's what I meant. I said Gorger, but I meant forest. We're just going to pass and do it on their turn so that we can block. Oh, actually, we can't block because this guy's tapped anyway, so never mind. All right, well. Oh, they can just kill this guy in response, can't they? Yeah, all right, let's see what we would have drawn. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. All right. Uh, Unwind is definitely coming in here. Pierce the sky as well. All right. What are we taking out? We didn't actually see much against Arcane Flight, but I guess we can probably take it out. Colar Snapper is probably pretty good by itself. Atomic Frog, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Yeah, this hand is good. We can kick all of these things and make this Halar huge. I'm a big angel hair pasta. Lands are the second most important card in Magic. Well, I might not agree with you on the goblins, but I, uh, I think we're, I think we're uh, in agreement on the second most important part. Did I not say fan after that? Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm a big angel hair pasta. <laughs> that quote's much funnier if I don't actually add the pasta at the end. Land? Can we do a land? We did it. I'll trade. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you wanna go. Why do I have the cheer song stuck in my head? Does anybody know? Can anybody confirm why I have this in my head? I 
I'm just going to pass here. Like, if they have Wizards Report, we give them something to do. Where does Noki rank on the Frank? It's pretty low, actually, unfortunately. It's just too thick and doughy. It, which is funny, because it's usually made out of potatoes. Yep, that's fine. Well, now we get to resolve something, which is cool. I like resolving things. Let's get an Ilondo, followed by this guy. Well, we couldn't have kept up counter because that's not how not having blue works, but I like I like where your head's at there. Give me a land here so I can actually Halar and kill this guy in the same turn. Annalise, Annalise, no one about you, that makes me hot about you. Too thick and doughy. Why are you going to talk about me like that? Alan, I, I would never. I would never, buddy. I would never say that to someone whose haircut game is so on point. Yeah, see, they're not stuffed. You just think they are because they're so fat. Look at these fat pastas. Oh, this turn's going to be good if we can hit one land. One land! I mean, this might have been better if we actually killed this guy instead, because then we can we can attack, and then they trick we trick them into blocking, and then you know they do the thing. Will you be drafting Vintage Cube next week? I enjoy watching all the Vintage Cubes you put up. It's, it's funny that you even have to ask me that, Doomsday. As if you don't... As if I'm not counting the hours until Vintage Cube pops up. Come on, buddy. Get it together. Yep, that's what we figured you'd do. Get in there for four. What's an empty ravioli? That sounds terrible. See, even Blink is funny here because if they wait till our turn to prevent the attack, we get to counter it. And if they use it now, we just get to replay Adelie's and attack, so... Okay, you get my Crosan Druid. I feel like an empty ravioli sometimes. My god. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. Yep, that's what I figured you'd do. Alright, well, it's all it's all coming together now. So we're just gonna put you like one here, right? Oh, what? <laughs> That's not what you want to do. I guess we put you to two, but we're we're playing uh, sap herd instead of equipping sword. All right, your move. We won that game. Say my name, say my name.
I don't hate this hand, especially because we have nine green sources. Any one green source, and that is solid. Well, that's unfortunate. Also, this is the only... I think these are the only mountains in the entire deck, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Excuse me. Joke's on you. I'm not going to draw a green source anyway. <laughs> oh, hey. Hello. Let's play this guy first. If you got a if you want a wizard's retort this little little cutie, that's more than fine. He survived. This guy's like the po the poster child for a fungal infection, unfortunately. <gasps> Look what we did. Oh, I was supposed to play Adelise here. I forgot. I don't think we grow here. If we grow here, we can play Tatiova next turn and... Sure. They're just not going to play anything ever. It's interesting to me. Okie dokie. I was thinking about a second island, sure. Oh, they just tap out for that? That's super cool. That's the best thing ever. Excuse me while I'm missing this guy. Just don't have a viscerate, I guess. Or in Bolus's clutches, crying out loud. Hmm. You had neither. Well, I get to do it again. What a time to be alive. Island. Blue source. No blue source. One, two, three, four, five. Well, biscuits. I'll take six here. No blocks. So we actually take five because we get to gain a life. Um, that's fine. Not ideal, but <sighs> getting annoying. One. Two, three, four, five. Two again. 
this guy again. Unwind would have been great last turn, but here we are. So I guess we'll just untap, keep unwind up. It seems good. Do I have my own cube? I do, but it's not really completed. I've been, uh, I haven't updated it for quite a while, unfortunately. I guess we're going to eight here. Not, not in love with it. That moment where you just want all the lands. Two, three, four, keep up on wind. Excuse me while I pierce this guy. Six and two. Hope you, I hope you blink it. I hope you try to blink it. I hope my fingers are crossed because it lets us... Oh, yes. That gives us such good mana here. Untap you, you, and you. This was like mm, probably exactly what we wanted to happen here. All right. Yep, that's cute. I got to pierce this guy in the hand. The old post-combat ace tear glider equip. That's a good one. Solid choice. Yep, that's annoying, but we have a goblin barrage, so... This actually should be game if they don't have a response. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then we goblin barrage their face. <laughs> Just in case. Yep. Presume you don't have a counter spell. Got him! Alright, our deck is surprisingly sweet for a deck that only had two packs. I will play first. I will ship this hand to anywhere that hands go when you do not want that. Oh, look, a Turtle Alistar. I forgot this guy was in the deck. Keep. Eh, keep you on the top. Uh, why only two packs? If you missed the beginning of this stream, it's because the client crashed at the beginning of pack three. Yep, this is the deck that went, went that went down when Moto went down. I guess the deck didn't go down. Moto went down.
Give me a land. Crossand Druid. I did get refunded, and then we realized the deck is actually reasonable. So we just kind of kept it. Do I really want to do this instead of just playing another guy? I think we just play another guy. God, I hate missing two land drops. So here's hoping we draw land. Here comes a Bailoth Gorger. Or a Call the Cavalry. Oh, you have my Sapper. Okay. A little behind the curve there, but... That's... Alright, I guess we're just gonna... Grow from the ashes. Uh... Nay on attacks. That was a good draw. It uh, was a good draw. Um, real time to just shoot this guy and attack for two. It seems aggressive though, especially when we have Allosaur in hand. We can just wait it out. Like, land in the land would be sick because we get to go migration into Allosaur. So we're just hoping there's a, two lands on the top and one of them is a forest. Reasonable, reasonable. That's a good fight target. <laughs> nah, the absolute worst draw we could have gotten here, unfortunately. Um, yep. What? In, three Three player rewards packs right in the middle of this draft. I'll open those after this. That was really awkwardly timed. I like your 58 Forest Multani 7 Awakening deck. That seems sweet. I can see why you don't miss land drops. They have four cards? What are their four cards? They have nine lands. They've had a land drop every turn, so they actually could have like two more lands in hand or something. That's a dude that we are going to have a difficult time dealing with. Land, please! Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Never gets easier. Yeah, I don't think I can risk this Arcane Flight, unfortunately. I like Arcane Flight as a removal spell if you come if you combine it with uh, Pierce the Sky. You can put it on a Thorn Elemental and just Pierce the Sky and kill it. Wow. Well, in my face, I guess. Cool. Must be nice. Unwind. It's probably not great here. Pierce the Sky is definitely coming in now. That's fantastic. All right, well... I mean, if we hit lands that game, I don't think it's actually close. Maybe it's close, but it's not that close. And if we hit a forest here, it's even better. Forest is so good here. I will take a different land, but I really prefer a forest. Magical Line, are you hearing me? Thank you. Just want to make sure we're clear. There's a lot of pressure, actually. Hmm. Looks like they missed a land drop. Or the F6 through their turn, comically. Oh, I figured it out. I did 50. I've done 59 drafts. That is uh, that is the amount of drafts I've done so far. Before I hit one Karn. So. 
Let's go to the next game, because this is a pretty good... You got it. I like the old grow into concede. That's a solid play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They go to three. Yeah, there's nothing there. There's nothing happening there. All right, well, let's keep on going. Oh my God, there are 17 lands in this deck, right? Look, there's some of them. I'll keep you on top. You're good. You're a versatile gentleman. Boy, oh boy, ha ha. We haven't seen any removal from their deck. Maybe we just go Lanor Envoy, Arcane Flight, and just beat them to death in four turns. And just keep our fingers crossed they don't have Lyra. Or, you know, anything, really. Oh, tell Denise I said hey. Look at that cutie. So next turn we can play Halal, Halar, which is pretty sweet. And then next turn we can blink if we hit another land. Halar is good. Rob, commands are one word. There you go, you figured it out. I mean, I'm not blocking this because we he, they obviously have something and we really need this guy to, to be our red mana. So... Chris, I have no idea what you just said. That is the most tongue twisty of tongue twisters. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's cool. That's a dude. That's unfortunate. Three, four, five, six. Could go grow for another blue. Um, arcane flight and sword on this guy. It's not terrible. I mean, wait to could grow. Then we're not doing anything this turn is the problem. I guess we can just block and then bounce if they try any kinds of shenanigans. That's reasonable. I really don't want to bounce this guy that was the problem, so I'll block you. We don't get any sort of value out of it, but sure. Big jugs. Oh, that's pretty decent. Yeah, we definitely want a red here. I wonder if we just get red, blue, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're dead on board if we do that, so. Red, and I guess it's a blue here. Also, if we... Um, 
If you manage to draw a territorial allosaur, it's pretty insane. We not only get the uh, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're I think we're losing this game, unfortunately, but we are pretty far behind here. Yeah, I wish they had on Sarah's wings. This is the guy? Hmm. God, I really want this, though. Well, that is the thing, I guess. Now we're at three, so we're dead on board. Alsor. All right, well, I, reasonable run, all things considered. Uh... The old 1-2, unfortunately, but, you know, we didn't get a third pack, so hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing that played out. If you guys haven't done so, check out my Patreon page. I just posted something today uh, regarding Goblin Chain Whirler, and uh, we're going to have the Goblin Chain Whirler talk, so please be sure to check that out. Uh, it is the $3 tier, so $3 a month, which is basically nothing uh, to support me if, you wanna, if you're interested in that. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.